We bought the property in 2017. Uh, I'm retired military. Uh, my wife and I were looking for uh, a place to, to build our, our dream home. And uh, part of that dream home was to, to have a sustainable house um, that was energy efficient, um, that uh, could uh, provide its own power or sell power back to the grid. Uh, so part of you know being a resilient distributed grid. Um, and so the concept for the house was uh, to use materials um, that uh, were energy efficient, uh, to use appliances that were energy efficient, uh, to use solar panels uh, to uh, generate uh, electricity. And uh, you know in the end, what we wanted was uh, something that was sustainable, um, you know, into uh, how many ever years we live in our this forever home. So part of the uh, design of the house was uh, using what's called insulated concrete form. Insulated concrete form is essentially uh, two insulative panels uh, separated by about 9 to 11 inches of uh, space um, that is filled in with concrete. So uh, when, you, when we designed the house um, here, um, you can see, um, just kind of looking in at our, our window over there, you can see that the walls are actually considerably thicker than your average house. Uh, so the walls on our downstairs are about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 12 inches thick. And most of that is uh, reinforced concrete um, that is sandwiched by those insulative uh, boards. That creates a really um, super uh, insulative uh, barrier uh, with the environment, uh, which means that you have a very energy efficient house. We have a uh, 10 kilowatt, uh, 30 panel solar uh, system on top of our roof. Uh, we were one of probably the last uh, group of families to get in under TVA's Green Providers Program, which allows you to sell the solar power you generate back to the grid. Um, for our uh, particular contract, we sell back to the grid at the same rate that we purchase from the grid. And uh, so what we have over here is just our connection in. Uh, so this is uh, the box where the solar pow uh, uh, power is coming out. And then we have actually two meters. This meter here is uh, showing the meter of the power that we're sending back to the grid. And then this meter over to my uh, right here, this is just the city meter or the uh, Huntsville Utilities meter that uh, shows what we're consuming uh, from the grid. Part of our uh, design of the property uh, for the house uh, was to have all native species plantings uh, uh, around the yard. We're still working on that, uh, but uh, this does a couple of things. One, um, it helps absorb uh, rainwaters um, and then also kind of creates this nice natural habitat um, that's pollinator friendly for bees and butterflies and uh, hummingbirds, uh, of which we have a lot of. We also do rainwater collection here. Um, we have two 55-gallon uh, uh, rain barrels, um, one on each side of the house out back, and we essentially use that to um, just as a additional water source should you ever need it, um, but uh, mostly just to uh, water the garden uh, during periods when uh, there's not as much rain. So this is our uh, heat pump, uh, a little bit different than a traditional HVAC system. Uh, in that uh, the heat pump is just really just kind of doing an exchange with the outdoor air. Uh, so whether you're heating or cooling on the inside, um, this is pretty simple um, and uh, a lot more energy efficient. So uh, we, do, we don't have um, baseboard heat for the house, um, but what this does is uh, just kind of allows for a more efficient exchange um, for the forced air that we have. Uh, we also do composting here. Again, just trying to you know limit our uh, footprint as far as trash is concerned. So anything that is organic and uh, can be uh, uh, put into a compost pile to include uh, sawdust uh, from my, my wood shop, uh, we throw in here and uh, it makes great soil that we then turn back and use in our garden. So another feature that we added to the house was uh, solar tubes. And you can see the little bubble up on the top of the roof. Uh, this is for the backside. Uh, and there's a similar one on the front that's a little bit more flush with the roof. And what the solar tubes do is it allows to bring in natural light, uh, much like you would from a, uh, you know, uh, having some sort of sun, you know, room or something like that, and allows you to, to uh, light up uh, darker spaces. In this case, for our house, our kitchen doesn't have any windows, 
So the solar tubes provide most of the light during the daytime. Uh, and during the nighttime, uh, when we have lights off, um, the solar tubes have these little rings um, that charge LEDs, and so it kind of creates this night light effect uh, during the night. So if you're getting up and you're walking through the, the kitchen, there's kind of this nice little blue hue um, that you know you can kind of see your path. So uh, the solar tubes are, are were a great uh, additional um, addition to the house uh, and uh, really make a difference as far as lighting and then uh, use of uh, electricity. And we think it's important. Uh, one, it's good for the planet. If you consume less energy and you use renewable resources, so we want it to be examples to others uh, with that. And uh, two, I, I think resiliency also just means, uh, you know, something that's uh, good for not only the environment, but it's good for a family overall when, you, you know, every month, you know, you're saving money um, that you don't have to spend on utilities. You have money that you can spend on other things. And so um, stuff that's good for us and good for the planet as well.